97.9 GRT Rock. Say it's Janet. Well, in case you missed it, huge concert announcement this morning. And I thought, who better uh, to chat with us about it than Brent Smith from Shinedown. Hi, Brent. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing today? Oh, fantastic. Thanks so much for talking with me today. It's my absolute pleasure. Thanks for taking the time out of your busy schedule to uh, chat with me. Oh, of course. Well, you guys, Shine Down, are the busy ones. I've uh, been doing so much touring in the States and abroad. Yeah, we're just finishing up the inaugural Carnival of Madness tour that uh, is overseas right now. Um, and uh, But we got some exciting news for the States right now, if you want to let everybody know. Absolutely, I do. You guys, Shine Down is coming to Van Andel Arena May 4th. Yeah, we're going to uh, come into town uh, with our very, very dear friends in Five Finger Death Punch. Uh, we're stoked about it. We're actually doing like three shows with them. So uh, this is one of the shows that we're doing, which is on May 4th, which is in your neck of the woods. And uh, and then it's totally like festival season. So we're doing a lot of festivals throughout the United States. But uh, really stoked about this, you know, this particular show on May 4th. Yes, we are so excited. This is just huge. You guys shine down Five Finger Death Punch, POD, May 4th at Van Andel Arena. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Yeah, super excited that you're coming to Grand Rapids. I uh, can't wait to hear stuff from the new album, Threat to Survival. Let's talk about that. I'd heard it's kind of like uh, been called your most autobiographical album so far. Yeah, I mean, we just don't necessarily go into any kind of album cycle or any kind of recording um, and and pull songs out of thin air. You know, we... Uh, we write from a place where we have to live through it and it has to be, you know, a situation that we've gone through, people we've met, places we've been to, and uh, just where we are, particularly in our life at that moment. So uh, a lot was going on during the making of Threat to Survival, coming off of the touring cycle for Amaryllis, which we were out on the road for 24 months um, with that particular album. And we really had to kind of decompress from everything. So we actually didn't even start writing Threat till. Um, I think we were off for like almost six months before we even walked into the studio and started writing songs. But it was a 19-month process. Um, it was the very first time that we had ever done an album that was more than one producer. We actually worked with four different producers, and there's actually eight mixers on the record. And uh, that was all um, kind of by design, because once we started writing the songs, um, different people needed to be involved for different uh, for, for, for different songs. Um, so that was exciting for us because it was something new that we wanted to try. Um, and the autobiographical part of it was just, um, you know, th there was a lot of subject matter that I hadn't tackled um, in previous years that I wanted to talk about. And I think I was in a place where I could do it because I'm the main lyricist in the band. Um, so I think I was just ready to talk about these uh these scenarios because there's 11 songs on the record but i kind of made a point that they're they're really 11 scenarios and there's a there's a fluidity to the album where you're really supposed to listen to it from the beginning to the end um and then hopefully it's it's something that connects with you and you just want to keep listening to it over and over again we've always kind of been like that when we go in and record um we're never trying to like say all right, let's put these three songs on the record because we feel like those will be singles and then the rest of it's filler. We don't ever approach any record like that. Um, it has to come from a real place and it has to be honest. Um, and really and truthfully, I think that's why we've continued to have a career is because the audience knows that we're very straightforward and we're very true to who we are. And um, we only have one boss and it happens to be just, you know, everyone in the audience. So uh, people... People are smart. They know if you're uh, if you're faking it, and that's just something that we don't do. Absolutely, yes. I think you can d definitely uh, hear that in in your songs or scenarios, as you call them. So let's talk about we, in one of those scenarios. We've been rocking "State of My Head" here on GRD. Going to play it uh, in just a moment. But if you could, you know, tell me a little bit about "State of My Head." So um, the song "State of My Head." I can give you an interesting fact about it. Um, aside from just the the lyrics and, and all of that and what the song is about. Um, it was the first time that a song was written by the sheer fact that all four of us were in the studio and we were at a place when we were writing Threat to Survival where we were probably 30 songs deep um, and things were starting to kind of sound the And so we kind of hit the reset button and looked at each other and realized that we all just kind of wanted to dance um, <laughs> because it was all like thrashing guitars and, you know, these heavy drum patterns and, and what have you. And we were just like, you know what? 
we wanted to do something clever and hip and really, really fresh. And really, the song was built around a drum loop. Um, and uh, it was the first time that we kind of built a lot of, I mean, I would dare to say even hip hop influence that's inside of it and more of a pop based influence because we're rock and roll to the bone. And anyone that knows anything about Shine Down knows that. But we wanted to do something that was completely outside of the box. And I think we accomplished that with this song. So, with that being said, this is State of My Head. Brent, thank you so much for talking with me today. Absolutely. Thanks for taking the time out of your busy schedule to uh, to chat with me. And uh, thank you so much for the support and much love to everyone. And we'll see you May 4th.